neurosurgeon, I don't want to be rude about it, but that's not somebody who just feels lightheaded. What, what do you see in, in the video of this latest episode? Yeah, I mean, what, what we see is someone who essentially is, is freezing, and, and this is a term that's often used uh, when describing various neurological things. He's obviously freezing, he's not saying anything, his, his uh, face is sort of frozen in that position, but also even his hands. If you look at that video, his hands are sort of really attached to the lectern. His aide comes over, tries to get him to raise his hand. He's sort of really holding on very closely. Um, it, it's very, very tightly, I should say, to that lectern. You know, it's, it, there's a lot of things that can sort of come to mind. The more you know about the various neurological conditions, the longer the list is, but certain things like stroke or things like that are are probably less likely. He get, he walks away and he's moving his arms and his legs as he walks away. Seizure is less likely uh, as well. Um, there's about 30 seconds where he appears to have some component of freezing. I think what really struck me, and, and uh, I think Manu alluded to this, is that you know, his aides don't seem that surprised by this. So we've seen this episode a couple of times, but you get the impression that it happens more often because this is something that they're used to, to dealing with. And if I remember correctly, uh, as Manu has reported, last time it's not even clear that he saw a doctor after these episodes. So they, they don't seem like they're that entirely surprising. So while it's, uh, you know, as you say, hard to watch, it doesn't seem like this is just lightheadedness, it seems to be something that is really ongoing. Someone who has a, a, a Parkinsonian-like condition, for example, whose medications are wearing off or or something like that, uh, that's something that could sort of explain this behavior. But as I said, Jake, it's, it's a long list of possibilities here.